If you bought a brand new Lexus GSF and it's pulling to one side, you may have a steering flaw, and I'll tell you why. Some superbike rider pulls an insane save to not die, and Porsche's 2014 Macan Compact SUV gets some Photoshop treatment. Plus, people aren't getting enough exercise already, so Honda invents a contraption to make them even fatter. Or more lazy, I should say. What's up, folks? I'm Derek D, and this is Fast Lane Daily, and you should be happy because it's Friday. Right, AK? I'm very happy. Get the ultimate oil change with Royal Purple. High performance motor oil and extended life filter. Royal Purple traps 99.99% of harmful contaminants. And you get extended performance and protection between changes. Get the ultimate oil change with Royal Purple. Hey Kay, did you buy one of those new 2013 sexy Lexi GS sedans? No, I did not, Derek. All oh, right, I didn't think you did. But I did just call Lexus Lexi. Okay, why not? Well, anyway, they are being recalled by choice for a safety concern regarding a steering issue. Now, they're just barely off the production line, but the 650 GS350s with the F Sport package need an update to their variable gear ratio steering ECU calibration. Now, don't ask me to describe exactly what that is. I mean, cars nowadays are basically just rolling computers that you steer, all right? But from what we basically understand is happening is when you turn the car back on after having parked it with the wheel turned, the wheel can become off-center sometimes. So maybe you might be driving and you'll be veering off left or right. Nothing insane like uh, engine failure, <coughs> Ferrari. But still Lexus felt it better to be safe than sorry, as they should, right, AK? Right, Derek T. Now, I don't know about you, but I actually never park my car with my wheel turned. It actually would bother me if I did. I guess it's like an OCD thing. I need my wheels straight, even when I'm parking on hills. What about you, Max? Same. You know, some people park on hills and they turn the wheel, so if something hits their car, it goes up on the sidewalk, doesn't go in the street. No, F that noise. All right, I don't know how this guy did it, but super sport motor rider Genki Hagata. Oh, Derek, you said his name wrong. It's Genki Hagata. Anyway, he may be the Asian Superman, seriously. During a qualifying run at the AMA event on Infineon Raceway, Genki takes his bike high side before almost losing it and bucking himself completely horizontal to his ride, yeah, for a few seconds before hugging his speeding motorcycle to save it from a crash. This is one of those uh, superhuman showings of uh, commanding your skill that deserves to be watched multiple times. I'll go ahead and have that link thrown in the description for you YouTube folks to watch and enjoy over and over. But yeah, props to this dude. Moving on. We've all seen the latest spy shots of the upcoming 2014 Porsche Macan small SUV buzzing around the internets, right AK? Yes sir. Well, we actually showed you some of them on Wednesday. It seems the camouflage headlights and taillights, plus some panels on the front and rear, left a bit of the car's design to be uh, questioned. Fortunately, Photoshop artist Dan Buzz Dugan, wow, Buzz Dugan, that's the dude's last name? That is awesome. Or is it Buzz Dugan? I like Buzz Dugan and I'm going with it. Anyway, he had seen all he needed to do to render the new SUV for us, and here it is right there. The new Macan is based on the next Audi Q5's platform, also using the model's all-wheel drive setup. Expect a turbo four and a V6 gas and diesel engine option when the model goes into production in the spring of 2013. Shout out to Car Scoop for the spy shots as well, and extra shout out to Buzz Dug. Over there photoshopping Macan's like a boss. Boss. Exactly. Buzz Dugan. That is a cool ass name. It's just, I don't know, it's cool. All right, moving on. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> hey, uh, the last thing we need to do as humans in general is sit down more, okay? And that goes for the entire world. Oh, Derek, only America's fat. No, every, there's a lot of fat people everywhere, all right? People are getting fatter by the day. I mean, the segue, at least people were standing up on that while they were moving. But now, Honda has invented the Unicube, which they revealed this week. Basically, it's an ass-steered personal mobility device. I mean, really? You really need to hop on this thing to get yourself around the office? Is that strenuous? It, it, I mean, is, is it that strenuous when you're taking your break at work to go get uh, a coffee or something? 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 You know, get your lazy ass up and walk, right, AK? Hell yeah. I mean, it goes 3.7 miles on one charge. Maybe that's kind of cool, but it makes you look like a raging tool the entire time. I mean, look at this woman right here. She looks like a complete doofus on this thing. She's got like the remote and she's driving, I mean, come on. I mean, yes, it's pretty cool engineering, I'm sure.
But beyond that, it's just dumb in my opinion. My version of this would be to get an intern to just wheel me around on an office chair. Check that out. Yeah. Tell them which way to go and everything. It's pretty cool, right, AK? No need for Honda to invent something when he got one of those. It's a little abusive if you ask me. Hey, I'm Derek D. <laughs> that was terrible. Anyway, that will do it for Fast Lane Daily this week. And it's been one hell of a week, quite literally. Hope next week is a lot better. Enjoy your weekend. We're on Twitter, twitter.com slash fastlanedaily. You can follow us there. We're on Facebook, facebook.com slash fastlanedaily. Make sure you like us, because I like you. And you can subscribe right here on YouTube. Also watch on iTunes. And uh, just cop styles in general, if it's involving Fast Lane Daily. Right, AK? Right, Derek. All right, that's it. Goodbye. Wait, wait, what did I say? But from wheat, from, uh, why can't I say that? Body, take three. It would be body, take one. Body. This is Fast Lane Daily, and thank goodness it's Friday. Did I say TJIF? That's terrible. I don't even know. Yeah. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.